Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I am mad for Pandora. Welcome back to another video. Today as you can see it's a bit of an unboxing. I popped back into the Pandora store with my daughter. We were only there a few minutes because we were supposed to be going out to the house to meet up with someone that never turns up so <laughs> that was a bit disappointing but my lovely sales assistant Beck helped me again and my daughter got to have a look at a few things all but briefly and my husband had the 15% off for his birthday so ladies get your husband signed up so not only can they sneakily buy you a present but you can use that 15% discount. So very excited to be able to get the discount and to get the beautiful limited edition bangle which is really great. So if you'd like to see that new edition stay tuned and we won't be long with the unboxing. So I'll just pull everything out. Now you may think I got a lot of things, but I actually didn't. It's just a lot of boxes because lovely Beck put them in one box each to give that element of surprise. So I hope you will enjoy watching. So I might leave the lovely bangle till last. And I really don't know what's in which box, but we will get started. Now some of these are my Christmas present and obviously because I'm opening it now, I'm opening it a bit earlier to show you. So then they'll get put away for Christmas. But others are just because I needed them. These are little tiny packets. you enjoy the element of surprise when you're unwrapping presents as well. Ooh, now this is lovely. As you can see this is the red heart. Now it's sort of like a sort of cerise sort of color. So it's not a real red red but it's a little Pandora me and it is so so tiny like all the others. Now I wasn't sure that I liked this when I first saw it but looking at it in person it's actually quite nice. It's got a little kick on the tail so it doesn't go straight down and I think that's sort of what put me off but I think it's got a bit of character actually. I think it's quite nice. It's really pretty but I was looking at getting the little shooting star one but the only ones they had in store had been there a while and because it's plain sterling silver most of it they were a little bit worse for wear. This one's really pretty. This one would be a really good one for Valentine's Day or to just give to someone you love. What do we have next? So this my husband has been wanting me to have for a long time and I absolutely love it. Tell me if you have this one. It's a fairly old one and it's a beautiful hot air balloon. Very pretty and when the light goes through that blue it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. So hard to open. Okay. What 
else do we have? <gasps> okay. <laughs> As you can see, I end up getting the word love in the Pandora Me Rose. Now they're calling this 14 karat rose plated now rather than Pandora Rose. It's really beautiful. So this is the love and it's got the two links, which hopefully will fit perfectly where I want to put it. Really love this one. I'm getting stuck. There it is. Popped out. Okay, so as you can see, this is just a little tiny link. And this is the little link from the rings that you can put two rings together. So I didn't really want this for the rings, but I wanted it to go with my bracelet just in case I need a second one or a third one. So I'd like to show you something I've done with my necklace. And as you can see, I've shortened my necklace and I'm still wearing it short like that. So this is the small link and I have ended up using the round link to attach my O pendant. Now I'm really hoping Pandora ends up making the new metal in the O pendant. I would really love that but as you can see this is really easy and really versatile and fun to play with and you could even put the beaded style one on as well and it gives a whole nother look so I know I've done a Christmas bracelet and I'm not sure when I show this whether I've shown you yet but Basically, I've just been playing around with this and every day I've been putting on a new styling. So one of my favorites has been the Christmas tree. And this is a beautiful Christmas tree and it does stay up the right way on your necklace. Really cute. And I've also got the beautiful poinciana that I can put on here. And of course I can do it with just the charm. I don't have to add the gold spaces. This has been really fun to play with ever since I got it for my anniversary and birthday. Now another idea is to find out where the opening is. Now to find out where the opening is I just push on it. That's the easiest way. So I can take that one off and I can add my locket. Now this is the open locket got the little petites so you can open that and pop that on as well 
So I've been having lots of fun playing around with this. Like every day I've been playing with it. So clearly I've got too much time on my hands. Struggle a little bit to get that on and off, but it does go on and off quite well. Now, one of the presents I got for my anniversary and birthday was this beautiful rose. So I haven't shown you that yet. It was a gift that my husband got and put away for me. So in Australia, we got these back in because they were a limited time and I didn't know that I was going to be able to get one, but I ended up getting one. So this is really, really beautiful. It's got so much detail. You may have seen this, this um, shown on other people's videos. It's just got the real beautiful reddish pink color stones. So I can also pop this on here as well. And if I wanted to buy a rose ring connector, I could put it on there as well. So how pretty is that? So one of my favorite things that I have, but I haven't got to wear it much at all because obviously being Christmas and having wanting having wearing my Christmas bracelet and things I haven't really been able to wear it but I absolutely love this on there so I did have this on a bracelet and decided I like it with this so lots of choices and lots of things to play with so I just pop this out the way. The little one also fits on the little ring connector as well, in case you were wondering. This is the one that is the charm one. I have popped that on as well. Okay, now I've decided to zoom in to show you the bangle because it's absolutely beautiful and there's so much detail on it. So this is the new Stars and Galaxy 2021 gift with purchase and it is a beauty. Now for a long time I haven't really been into stars or the galaxy type themes but our last two gift with purchases at Christmas time have actually been star themes. And I finally decided to do a night and day bracelet. So getting this bracelet is actually quite exciting. Like look at the clasp guys. This is beautiful. So there's quite a lot of CZs in the stars of different sizes. But there's also a little bit of white enamel joining them together. I don't know if it's an illusion or not, but I do feel like this clasp is a little bit oversized compared to a regular bracelet. But like I said, that could be an illusion. Now, very hard to see because it's quite shiny. But on the end here is beautiful stars all the way around. Now they are a little bit oxidized and I do believe they're going to get even more oxidized. Like I said, it's kind of hard to show because it's so shiny. But I do love that they've not put words on it this time. They've just decided to do a pattern. This is probably definitely one of my favorite gift with purchases. I just think they've gone out of their way this year. Now this is a size 17. So it is quite small, but it fits me perfectly if I don't really put anything on it. 
so I won't pop it on my arm because I do already have a few things up my arms but yeah it's just beautiful hopefully you can see that but yeah if you like star and galaxy themes in Australia this is a hundred and fifty dollars for the spend and it is available for quite a while I think it's till the 16th or something or while stocks last I meant to look that up and if I'm not right I will pop it in the comments but 150 spend is getting on the high side but I think it's definitely doable at this time of year now the other thing I wanted to show you is I've already changed this so since I got the little dove the other day I decided rather than having two of the wave charms I would add the beautiful little bird so I think that just gives it a little bit of a different look but it's good because I don't have three blue and a yellow I now have it a bit more balanced but I really love this bangle and so I think for the most part I will be putting this little heart on this one here and I think that will give it a nice little pop of colour But I won't pop that on right now because I would have to take my bangle my bracelet off the other thing I wanted to show you is I did get a gift from my daughter for my birthday it was a little bit belated but she brought it home and gave me such a surprise and very excited because I did give her a little bit of a wish list of things I was interested in but I didn't have any input in what she actually picked and then she said she bought me a birthday present and a Christmas present and she basically said which hand do you want to pick so because <laughs> my birthday and Christmas is so close together and this was a little bit belated so I picked the left hand which would have been her right hand I think it was and this is the gift that she gave me and I am so touched guys like oh wow so this is the beautiful Pandora moments charm key ring now I have mentioned to a few of you that I was really wanting this to put the keys for our new house on so the fact that my daughter who is going to live in America very soon she gave the, gave it to me I'll always remember her because she's been living with us quite for quite a few years now and it's been fun <laughs> sometimes up sometimes down but I will really treasure the moments that we've had with her and every time I look at this I will think of the times that we've had now I did have an idea about a few styling ideas of just some charms I already had and I'm not sure if everybody's seen this but it took a while for me to even get to see it in store because they sold out really really quickly so it does have a plain disc on one side but it happens to be the same side as the little Pandora written on there and then on the other side it's plain and it's got the little tag the writing on it on that side so whichever way you look at it it says Pandora and like I'm really excited to get this like I said um, I didn't really like the other two sizes if I was going to get one it was going to be this one for sure now it is a little bit different to the O pendant in the case that you have to put your fingernail or clip opener in there 
instead of just pushing a button. So that just opens up. So it's pretty secure actually. So a couple of ideas that I had was I've got a little Ballabot and I don't really use her that much. I have done a few stylings and I've also got Robbot and this represents my husband and me so I won't clip it together so I have to open it again but how cute is that? So it's like they're holding hands I think that is really cute. Now another idea I had because of course my daughter who gave me this is my Pandora daughter which I've talked about so many times. I do also have the little old Pandora bag which I bought pre-loved a long time ago and I haven't really found a permanent place for it. I thought it was going to go on my mad bracelet but I've run out of room so it won't be going on that so the fact that I've always been Pandora shopping with my daughter I could also have this on here and I think that looks really good as well. So we'll see what I end up doing with it but obviously I can't wear it right now because I don't have the keys for the house yet and doesn't look like we'll actually be in by Christmas at all so I've been able to do a little bit more videoing since then but I do already have my Christmas video recorded so there will be a couple more from me So I've got the little hot air balloon and I'm going to try popping it on here. I do struggle a little bit with this round one because you've got to be able to push down with your hand but this is beautiful. And now that I've opened it, I have to give it back to my husband for Christmas, but I definitely will be wearing it like this. I just think that looks amazing. Like the links of this really sort of follow the links of that, like the little ridges. So that's another idea I've come up with. But I also wanted to show you what I'm going to do with my leftover links. Now these are the links from my necklace and these are the links from my bracelet. I also have two connectors and then I have the little baby connector that's for the rings. So as you know with this bracelet, because I've made the center as the round connection, I can't fit the two pieces and then clips to hold it on in the middle there. So my idea with this, with the beautiful love script, is to pop it on with these other pieces. So I'm pretty sure I can make a bracelet that's going to fit me out of these links. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop that on. And then I need the small connector. pop on there. Now for the most part I am using the piece I'm putting on to push on the sides of the connectors to open them. Doesn't always work, sometimes I have them up the wrong way. 
but for the most part I found that's the easiest way with these bracelets. Okay, so I have that much length now. So I do have two options. I have the option of putting this little heart as a dangle. But because I'm going to put this on my other bracelet for now, I do have this beautiful old 14 karat rose gold little heart. Now if you've watched my O pendant video you will see that I've got a few of these and they are just beautiful. So they are solid rose gold but they are two tone as well. So I'm going to pop that on this little connector and I'm just going to have a dangle just sort of like dangling off my wrist. Now the other one of these needs to go on the end. I'm going to pop that on. Now depending on which way I want this up will be which way this has to face and at the moment I'm not too fussy with it because obviously I'm just playing around so I may get it wrong and I'm going to use a beautiful love word link I'm just going to pop that in there Pop that in there and there we go. So now that I have this set up I can basically add any of the double links or even the one word links and it should fit me really well. So of course I can hang this little dangle on one of these links but because they're such big links I think it might get a bit lost so I just thought maybe I'll try it down the side. So I might pop off my other bracelet just to give a bit more room because it is fairly tight so I can't pop it up my arm. Okay, so one of these sides I need to open. I might try doing it on this side. This could be a little bit tricky. So I did manage to get it on. It's a little bit tricky to do on my own, but I will get used to it like I can actually get this bracelet on and off by myself now which I couldn't when I first bought it. So there's a little heart. So it'll probably hang up this way when my arm is down. I wouldn't probably stack these two bracelets together just because they're different metals and I usually wear this one with the darker sort of oxidized look or something like that and this one I have my me and hubby bracelet and stuff that I have rose so I just don't think I need them both together but it is a little bit bigger than this one as far as fitting goes but it does fit up my arm a bit better so what do you think so now I can wear that with this as a set And if I don't want to have the rhodi um, rothenium, rothenium, whatever you call it, if I don't want to have that at the top, I can always use 
my other little small link and pop it down there and have it dangling off. So, so thank you for sticking with me if you got to the end and until next time, take care.